Hey, what's going on guys? Ray Shapley, where to live in Austin. And in this video, I want to do a brief overview of a neighborhood that I think is a pretty good prospect for folks who are looking to invest. So I, I am having a lot of conversations. Investors I know are kind of starting to line things up. They see the market softening a bit, feel like it's a good time to enter. So I want to start doing a few videos every now and then where I talk about just areas that I'm seeing and what might make sense or where it might make sense to invest. So this area that I want to talk about today is in, in the 78748 zip code. It's in South Austin. And I like this for really two main reasons. So when I look at investment areas, I like to see if I can some kind of catalyst beyond just normal appreciation that's coming to the area that's going to make it more valuable over time. It could be something as simple as an employer moving to the area, a major employer or a highway coming into a, maybe a suburb that's going to make it effectively 15 minutes closer to downtown from a commute standpoint, anything like that. In this particular area, it's two things, two catalysts that I'm looking at. Number one, I've always seen this kind of imaginary line that moves every decade or so throughout Austin. And it, it's kind of the line between central Austin and the rest of Austin. You know, when I, was, when I was a kid, this line was at the river, at Town Lake. Anything south of that was Austin. Anything north of that was central. That line keeps moving down. It moves down the map. So, you know, originally it was Old Torf, or next it was Old Torf, and then after that it was Ben White, and it just keeps moving down. I think that line, while it's not there yet, is very close to this area. Once that line crosses into this area, that will definitely drive prices. It, it'll, it, it gets denser, prices go up, all of these things. I think that this probably happens in the next 10 years. And so when we look at investing, we're always looking at you know a 10 to 15 year time horizon, nothing less than that. And so I would say everything I'm gonna say in this video about this area, it's really kind of predicated on that 10 to 15 year. So that, that's number one, I feel like that's coming. Number two, the area that I wanna focus on in this zip code is along Manchac, and it's what's going on there. It's this up and coming entertainment district that I think probably has me most excited about the area, and that's really what I'm honing in on when I'm looking for areas to invest here. Okay, so looking at a map of Austin, if we zoom in this big blue box, this is uh, 78748, but what we're interested in particularly is this strip right here. This is along Manchac, kind of starts at Manchac and Slaughter and comes down. So let me switch over to a satellite view. And you can see in here kind of what's going on. So while there are lots of houses around here, a lot of these are venues. So you have things like Indian Roller coming down. You've got <clears throat> the Moon Tower Saloon, uh, Armadillo Dens right up here, I think. Uh, Luster Pearls over there, Parlay House, The Hive as you get down here, and South Austin Beer Garden, I think is But um, really, all along this strip here is this kind of burgeoning entertainment district. And you can see there's, there's still houses in here. There's more to be developed over time. But this has happened. I've watched this kind of organically. It started with the Moon Tower. And just over the years, more and more places have been acquired or been able to acquire the land and come in to this area. And you're going to see more of that. I think that just based on what I've seen in Austin, what's happened in the past and other areas, I think this, that, that this becomes kind of the it spot for South Austin. So why this is important is, you know, we've got areas, neighborhoods right across the street from that. And there are people that want to be within walking distance of areas like this. So they can go get something to eat, go hang out with friends, things like that. There's real value in that for them. And so that this is the catalyst for this area that I'm really focused on. I would be buying in this area anything around uh, this, particularly if you can get walking distance. So right here, again, Sweetwater Glen, great neighborhood here directly across the street. And then you can go down, you've got Saddle Creek, Saddle Creek Estates, Canterbury Trails, although you're starting to get away from the walkable areas there. 
Over here, there's not really a name. This calls it Ford Oaks, but there is a interesting neighborhood in here. It's not much of a neighborhood, but because it's kind of this hodgepodge, it's, it's residential and commercial and a little everything in between. And while, you know, it, it doesn't have city taxes in here, it doesn't have any zoning or at least restrictions. I'll say that. I, I'd have to double check on the zoning. I think it probably does have zoning, but it doesn't have restrictions. So you can do a lot on your property. I don't know that you could Airbnb it. I'd have to check because I think that you're still going to run into issues with the city's view on Airbnb. But what I would be more interested in actually in here, if you can't do that, would be just the option of doing something commercial, you know, hair salon or something like that in here. Because it's always nice as a landlord or an owner to have options rather than just residential. I mean, it's it's not a must, but it's kind of a nice to have. So that's an interesting area. And why I like this is... These guys can still walk into this area. So it's walkable, I believe, from this little area. So this is something, again, it's um, it's not a must. I think anything around here that's within, I don't know, five minutes of this strip, I think is going to benefit from it, but particularly areas that can walk to it. And why this area is just in general... I think a winner is because it's relatively affordable. You know, it's very doable to get something in the 400s in here. And then if we switch over here to the map view, from a commute standpoint, I really like it because it's, yes, you've got, you can jump on Mopac to get downtown. Yes, you can drive over and get on I-35, but it takes a while to travel. Here you can jump on Manchac and it connects with Lamar and then that runs you right into downtown. So you're 20, 25 minutes to downtown, not having to get on a freeway. There's a certain utility there. So just overall, that's kind of my view of this area. And again, this is the area that I'd really be focusing on. All right, guys. So that about does it for this video. I hope that was helpful. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.